These are Jay's socks. Don't tell him though. Good morning, you guys, from Austin, Texas. So today, Jay is actually helping out another person uh, with their bus conversion, Angus. He's currently at the point where he just has the wood left, so Jay is having a field day, loving it. So while Jay is doing that, I'm going to be confessing all of our van life secrets to you guys. All the things about our van life experience so far that we haven't told you yet. And there's some pretty good ones on there, guys. I don't actually remember the last time that I showered. So before I really get into it, I'm gonna go on a quick run, then we'll catch up with the guys later, and I will spill all of the secrets. Guys, look at this. I thought these were statues. They're literally a family of deer. Hi, babies. Those are the statues over there. All right, back to the run. Enough distraction. So, I guess now would be a good time to tell you number one on the list. I just need a second to catch my breath. Bear with me one second. Okay, number one. Isn't it funny how Jay can just talk right away after and I'm like literally dying after two miles. It's fine, I'm good. So, number one on our list is... I don't actually remember the last time that I showered in this shower. So, what I mean by that is because we live in a van, it's so easy to travel, to get around. We visit friends, we're lucky enough to have friends that allow us to use their showers, and when we're not at friends, we actually have a Planet Fitness membership. It's just 20 bucks a month for both of us, and it's just easier than going in there, emptying our composting toilet. It's also kind of become like a storage place for our dirty laundry. So it's just like a nuisance and then having to fill up. So I know what you're going to say, like you guys spent all that time, all that money on that recirculating shower. And you're right. I think if we were to do a build again, we probably would only have an outdoor shower. Now saying that we haven't been out west yet where we'll be in the middle of nowhere, in deserts, wherever, and I'm sure we'll appreciate this recirculating shower a lot more then. But at this point in our travels, we just really haven't used it. So I realize it's not nighttime yet, but I've been really getting into this chamomile, 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 why can't I say that, chamomile tea lately. I've never really been into herbal tea, but I guess I'm just growing up. That might be just a part of life. So yeah, as I wait for this water to boil, then I would give you a van life confession number two. And that is that van life is not as cheap as you might think it is. Or it's not as cheap as what we thought it might be. So I actually listed out on my phone our expenses for the last month. Didn't put food on there, but I just wanted to show you guys kind of like what we pay living in the van versus what we'd pay if we were living in an apartment. So in the last month, we spent $445 on gas. So obviously that's a huge expense. If you want to save for a little bit, you could park up for a little bit. We drove from Florida to Texas, so we did have a big month of driving this month. We also pay about $500 for health insurance for the both of us. That's for dental and for regular. And that's something that we have to pay for ourselves because we work for ourselves. That's something that when we had a full-time job, I had health insurance through that. I mean, some people that live van life, they work nine to five still. They do remote work, especially now with the pandemic and everything. But for us, the way that we've done it is we have to work for ourselves when we're on the road at this current point which means we have to buy health insurance because accidents do happen, as you guys know. <laughs> so another thing you don't think about is tolls. We spend about 20 bucks a month in tolls. And another thing I wanted to say about just like the cost, like it's obviously better. We're traveling. We're doing things for the same cost it would have been for us to be stationary in an apartment. I'm just saying it's not necessarily as cheap 
as you might think it is. And then another thing as well that you don't really think about when you're on the road is repairs. So I was not really on board with this in the beginning when Jay wanted to pack two full things of tools in the back of the van. And then I reminded myself about all the breakdowns that we had in our bus, all the times that those tools came in handy. So yeah, luckily, knock on wood, we haven't needed to repair anything major yet. Um, actually saying that the fridge door did fall off the other day and uh, that was a little chaotic, but it was nothing major, which was nice, but it was also nice that Jay had his tools there. He could fix it. So yeah, it's just something that like when you're out on the road, you don't think about all the repairs that you might need to do. So definitely bring your tools. Can you guys smell that? You know what they need to invent is like a camera where you can smell through the phone. When do you guys think that'll exist? That's kind of terrifying, but also amazing to think about. Like, you guys could smell that right now. That would be so cool. All right, I think it's been too long since I've had contact with a human. I'm getting a little weird. So let's go check on Jamie and Angus, the guy who has the bus here that Jay's been helping out. And let's see what they're up to. That piece took so long. This is Angus. I took a break out of the video to try to show everyone what you guys have been up to, but I guess you've just been working on one piece of wood. All right, don't worry about it. Much to show. You're feel bad. I'm very much aware that it's too long. No, I'm just kidding. So they got all this side on the left done. This little panel here. On the right hand side as well. We got this front board up. I'm saying we, but I mean day and then the whole back wall as well so jay's gonna be here for how long jay gonna be here for until it's done until huh? it's finished yeah we're not even <laughs> until it's finished so another van life confession is that it's actually harder to get mail than we thought i mean it's not that hard to get mail on the road. You just have to be a good planner. Luckily, we knew we were gonna be at this house. It's hard for us, because we're not typically the best planners. So again, not hard for the typical person, just hard for us, I think. Another van life confession is that a lot of times Jay and I wear the same outfit more than one day in a row. For Jay, sorry to rat you out, Jay, but Sometimes he wears the same outfit for a week. It's kind of funny because I only have like those two cubbies and then two little shelves over there filled with my clothes and I still don't even wear probably half of them. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but yeah, we we definitely wear the same outfit more than one day in a row. Maybe it's because of laundry. We have to go to laundromats to do our laundry. So we try to just stretch it out a little bit longer than we normally would if we lived in a house. We don't smell bad. I mean, I don't think we smell bad. Maybe we smell a little. I don't think we smell. I feel like that's something a person that smells would say, so... Who knows? <laughs> I don't think I can ever not be awkward. <laughs> so, I've made a list, you guys. This is Van Life Confessions, after all. I'm not gonna show you my list, because my handwriting's really messy but my next one is van life can get lonely and that's something that's not talked about I feel like too much when we leave we're leaving our family behind I think the hardest part for Jay and I both when, whenever we leave home is like leaving our nephews nieces because they're so young they're not at the age where you can just like text them yeah I think um, it can get lonely if you let it and we try to plan meetups with our friends we've made a lot of friends from bus life obviously so we've met up with Justin and Val, Nova and River. We spent Christmas Day with them. It was so nice. Yay, good job, Nova. We actually spent New Year's Eve with Will, Kristen, and Rome. We've met up with Scott and Ashley. We've met some new van life people. I feel like now that we've kind of been through it before, we obviously have, we have roots and we have people we can go visit, which is really nice. And if you're starting out, I think it's important to maybe attend events like Schoolie Palooza, which is happening right now and I'm really sad we're missing. But yeah, it can get lonely staying at Cracker Barrels and Walmarts, especially waking up every morning, your neighbors don't say hi to you when you try to say hi. I think it's just really important to try to find a balance and plan 
stops along the way to make it fun. So yeah, no secret here, but I guess it is kind of a van life confession that van life is uncomfortable. So whether it's going an extra day without shaving, going an extra day without showering, whether it's being unable to receive mail for a few extra weeks and having to find a way around that, it's uncomfortable. But they say it's in your discomfort that you find the most growth. And I think that's why I honestly feel like we've grown so much as a couple, individually, living van life and we wouldn't have it any other way at this point in our lives and it's been such an amazing experience. It makes all the discomforts more than worth it. Hey guys, before we leave, I just wanted to kind of share something with you. I know our audience is extremely kind and always wanting to help others. There's this schoolie family. They're called the Barefoot Bandits. Mark is a husband and a father to three beautiful kids. He recently was diagnosed with stage four colon cancer. Him and his wife have recently quit their jobs to try to battle this fight together and their bills are piling up. So if you have any, a dollar, anything at all, I'll leave the GoFundMe below. If you can't donate now, please just share this story. The power of social media is amazing, and I know we can come together for this to help this amazing Schooly family out. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Pippa appreciates it as well. She's being really cute and she won't let me leave. She doesn't want me to go back into the bus. I've been filming all day and she's been getting really needy lately. Like she'll just come over and sit on me. It's really cute. Okay, I love you guys so much. That was so creepy. Let me try that again.